Hi everyone, Xandra from Scraps of Beauty. How is everyone? No, you're not late, chick. I am. I just started. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Gwen. Hey, Bunny. Hey, Car Chick. Hey, Terry. Terry was here bright and early for a good spot. <laughs> Can you guys see me yet? I don't see anybody saying hello. Hi, Miss Pris. Anybody see me? I don't see. I don't see anybody. Uh, you guys can't hear me. Hi, sweet. Oh no, it can't hear me. Let's see. Hi, very nice. You guys hear me? <laughs> I don't see anybody. I can. Okay, good. <laughs> I wasn't too sure. How are you guys tonight? I'm like, oh, tired. <laughs> yes, I'm on. Hi, Linda. <laughs> Where's Linda? <laughs> Black screen. You guys have to refresh. Hi, Magana. Hi, Eileen. Can you see now, chick? Hi, JT. Let's see. Can you guys see? I think you can see. You hear? Good. Thanks, Terry. <laughs> All right. I already pushed the recording, so we we're good to go. That recording. So uh, I have a couple of things that we're going to do tonight, and then I will um, show the sneak peek. Um, Hi, Susan. <laughs> Hi, Bunny. Good. All right, so what we're going to do is, remember last week we um, we did the little girl here, and I did wind up um, finishing it. So all I did was I added the um, little Rolodex. What is that called? The spinner. I don't know. Then I ordered my uh, picture, just a charm, some flowers, the dog. Hi, Army. Hi, Susan. So I wanted to show you um, what I wanted to do to the dog. Um, I can find my... Yes, it's... Um, do you know who says make pretty stuff? That would be Heidi. This is Heidi Swap's new um, self-healing mat heat resistant it's not self-healing sorry it's heat resistant it's pretty it's a teal blue um and it's it's big which i like it's like 18 by 24 so you can't see the whole screen but it's a lot bigger but so i wanted to show you i'm going to um puff the little poodle um up so I don't know if you guys, I'm sure some of you have known about this liquid applique. Hi, Jess. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to get my heat gun. And if you've ever seen this work, you're just going to, I'll squirt it a little bit here so you can see. So I'm going to, and you don't have to get like every spot and you don't have to put a lot on there. Just like that. Oh, it's hard to see because it's white. There you go. And then let's see if I can get you to see how it pops. There we go. Oh, come on, focus. Focus. Let 
me see if I can get it. Um, I do it this way. Come on. There we go. I'm so shaky. I can't there. Can you see it popping up? So let me see if I can show you. See how it popped up there? So I want to get it along the edges. So we're going to do the same with um, with this. I'm going to put a little bit more in here. Hi, Dar. I left you a message. I think I did anyway, a text message. I didn't get a chance to call you, so I'll call you tomorrow. Oh, my finger's getting hot. Hi, Ella. Well, seven minutes. Hi, Scrappy Chair. Oh, I'll show you in a minute. See how it's puffing up? Can you see now that how it is? It's like all puffy. This is called liquid applique. And it comes in all different colors, but I like to use it for Santa's beard, for snow, cupcake icing. Um, so let's put it on here. Oh, my little shoes are getting hot. Hi, Quinn. Hi, Ella. This is right here. Oh, I lost my little heart there. Glue that on there. Um, did you see how cute it looks? Puffed up? Rabbit tails. Yep, rabbit tails would be good. Oh, I need some glue this on here. Ugh. Let me get a glue dot. A glue dot here. And we'll just do the legs. Hi, Martha. Let's just glue that in there. Ooh, that's hot. And we'll do the legs. Yeah, I think they still do make it. I like it for Santa's beard. For snow, that's mostly when I use it. There we go. Now it's all fluffy. Come on. There it is. Cute though, right? So we have that done. Oh, congrats, Army. Having a little baby girl. Got some cute baby pictures out. Somebody else just came out with a baby line. I can't remember who it is. Um, it's pretty cute. So, and then the main thing with this is you don't want to put anything heavy. You squish on this because you need it really that to harden up. So I usually let it harden up overnight and before I put anything on it. Oh, I need another one here. <laughs> I 
Okay, dark, got it. <laughs> um, I need one more glue dot for this. I must have not put enough glue on this. So let me just stick that on there. So yeah, so it came out cute. Very cute. So we can add that to our back cover later. <coughs> And then I wanted to, thank you, Chick. So remember we did this, the front cover, and we did the cameras on here. So I want to do the same thing with the back cover. So, although I'm not going to put as many cameras on here. Um, let's, we'll put a few, though. So I want to get, I want to black out some of these like we did the last time. I'm looking for my washi tape. There it is. So I think I'm going to go with three. Maybe we'll block out. Um, what did I block out last time? I don't remember. I think I'm going to block out hmm. one, two, three, four, five. Maybe I'll go like this. Well, I'm just going to put some in the corner here and some down in here. So I just don't want to get that. So let's do that. So since I use this in the front, I'm going to use the same thing in, in the back. I did find my palette knife, so it was with my Mega Flakes. Some there, and I think I'm going to put some down in here. Oh, Barry's here! Hi, Queen. Where's Barry? Oh, you're here. You're here. Hold on, I'll get you. There you go. Hi, Barry. <laughs> Everyone coming in? Anybody I missed? So let me move this up so you can see. I'll grab a little bit more. <laughs> So I don't want the picture perfect. I'm going to put some tape on this end here so that I don't get these. And then I'll put tape here. five. Um, I'll just try to be careful and not go up here. I like the blue on the, the white on the blue. It's like really nice contrast. Are you guys excited for Saturday? I'm excited. Mm 
<laughs> yep, like blueprints, right. Right, sweet. Hi, Ash. There we go. I think I'm going to add one more up here. Just because it's uneven there. Cute. And then we'll do something there and there. So we'll leave that over to dry. Oh, this frog thing. Oh my gosh. Um, I got it at the dollar store. It's like, um, you know, put your hot play or whatever. So I thought if I had my heat gun or glue gun, I could lay it up on top of there. So it was cute. I forget they had a frog and they I had something else. I don't remember, but I picked a frog. <laughs> yeah, that was at the dollar store. It's like to put your cup of coffee or whatever, but it's silicone and, you know, it's to keep keep it hot, not hot. <laughs> All right, let me wash this off. Get a wipey. You're excited? Good. Oh, you're in the highest. Good, Dar. Yeah, Dar usually streams on Saturday night, so she'll be able to just relax and watch now. Which dollar store? The dollar store by you, Linda, up by um, on 18 in New Brunswick. You know, that one that's by um, the Staples in that shopping area has the Staples. I think it's ShopRite's in there. I forget what else is in there. I forget what it's called. Yes, you'll be here. Good. <laughs> Hi, Patty. Okay, I have all that washed all off. Are you like frogs? <laughs> Ashley, you like frogs? Oh, what did you want me to explain? Want me to explain it again? What did you miss, card chick? All I did was I put the, um, the stencil on and we used some embossing paste. And then we'll add some other stuff in here. But this is the back cover. But I love the way the white and blue look. Oh, the froggy. Froggy I got at the dollar store. It's just like to put um, your hot cup of coffee or something so it doesn't burn. But I thought I would get it so that I could put my glue gun on it. So it was at the dollar store. I forget they had another one, but I don't remember what it was. But this is just a little frog. <laughs> Hi, Jim. So we have that. So tonight I want to, I had a stencil this earlier, and of course um, I can't find it. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to make our own Polaroid um, camera. What I wanted to do was try to pop out all those pictures that I took. So that's kind of my idea. So let me see where my little pictures are. So we're going to try to make our own Polaroid camera tonight. I can find my pictures. two pictures that I don't have. Hold on, looking. Looking for my other pictures. I thought 
I had them here. Uh, I don't know if they can get the get that for you, Barry. This is um a Heidi Swap um, what do you call it? Uh, nonstick like a nonstick sheet. I don't know if that's something she can. You could ask Barry. Barry might be able to get it for you. Oh, where are my pictures? Hold on, I'm looking, looking for my pictures. Come on. Well, oh, there they are. I got them. Got them. <laughs> it's um, it's a nonstick um craft mat. You know, it's a um, heat resistant and a tiny swap. She just came out with it. It's um, size eighteen by twenty four. Sorry, Barry. Yeah, this is Heidi Swap's new um, craft mat. Yeah, she has a couple things out new. Um, I think she has some new canvas things out and um, some new, I want to say some new stencils maybe. Oh, where's my little picture here? <laughs> a little too much info. <laughs> yes, it's not a self-healing mat. No, it is not a self-healing mat. You can't cut into this. It's just for um, spraying, you know, heat. <laughs> um, spraying and heating. You know, it's just like a um, ranger's um, mat, you know. All right, so I'm going to try to make uh, um, a Polaroid camera. So I need some white paper. <laughs> so I'm only going to try to guess how to do it. So it'll be trial and error here. So my page is, let's see. I don't know why you guys are like, so let me see if I could get you. Like my camera seems far away today. Hold on a second. Let me move you up a little. Can I move you up, up a little? Oh, I'm probably making you dizzy. <laughs> Ranger Craft Mat, yes, but this is a teal blue and it's um, 18 by 24. And it's, I think Ranger's is like $17 and this was only like $2 more. So it's 24 inches by 18. 18 inches by 24. Um, are you guys crooked now? I can't tell. I think you're all right. And it's very thick. I don't know if you can see how thick it is. The Ranger one's kind of like thin. This one's pretty thick. Yeah, it's nice and big. That's what I liked. I mean, it covers my whole desk. It's nice. Just remember you can't cut on it. <laughs> That's what I have to remember. No cutting. All right, so this is where I want to put the Polaroid camera, and what I wanted to do is, like, spit out these pictures. So, let's see which ones we're going to use. Ah, the tape is stuck. Oh, sorry, yeah, it probably is. Let me get it off. Hold on. Thanks, Ella. Um. See. Yep, it is. There we go. Thank you, Ella. <laughs> You'll cut on it. I just use it for sprays. I like it because it's nice and big um, and it works good. All right, so oh, my pictures are stuck. All right, I want to get the smaller ones because I have some that are small, like this one's pretty small. This one's small. There she is, Heidi. <laughs> I 
won't you're always crooked <laughs> so let's see so we'll have them just like spitting out let's see I'll put that one maybe we can get this one like spitting out I'd like to get I might be only get two or three of them I would like to get these little ones like spitting out I might only be able to get two of them spitting out or else we won't have room to put the um, put the camera so we'll see we'll try to get it like that so if we get it like this then we need to get the camera up in there oops I'm like way down too today I gotta move some stuff so I can move up yeah I don't know why my camera is like back why is, can I move it forward hold on I should be able to move it forward a little <laughs> now you're probably crooked. Yeah, I think that's okay. All right, so we're going to have it spitting out like that. So I wanted to get it. I'm going to put this on this side. This, this. I want to get three of them in there if I can. Let's see. Oh, you know, so I'm going to do, if I could do three, I'll do the graph of 45 curls. Whoops. Two. Where is the other one? Where's the other one? One, two. Oh, there it is. All right, I'm going to put these away. Oh, I'm so mad I tore that. So let's see if we get it to spit out like that. One, two, three. I'll put this one on this side since it's ripped. I'm going to have to cut that part off. Like it's coming out like that. And maybe we'll spit out these coming out of that. So let me get my ruler. Hi, Robs. Hi, Purple. Uh, my ruler. Where's my ruler? So if we're going to make a camera, we want to make it about, I'd say, three and a half by three and a half by four. So let's do that. I want to make it a little bit bigger. I'm just going to cut 4 by 12 right now. Hi, Marilyn. I want to kind of make it 3D, so let's see if we could do that. Okay. And I want to have my scoreboard here. No. Uh, no, of course not. All right, so we're going to use these three pictures. So let's put them over here. I'll move this over to the side. And then what I want to do is, of course, I don't have my scoreboard, so I'll have to just use this. Mm. I'm thinking I want to score it. Gonna score it half inch and then half inch and then that's gonna be what do we say three and a half I'm gonna go two and a half so let's see I have to go this way and I go two and a half I think that will be good And then we'll go an inch, maybe inch and a quarter. I hope you guys are remembering these. <laughs> and we'll go um, a half and then another half. 
All right. So remember now, we went a half inch, then we went a half inch, then we went two and a half inches, turned it around, two and a half inches, then we went inch and a quarter, and then half inch, half inch. You guys got it? <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Let me cut it here. Oops, I cut it crooked. Went to a card class today. What cards did you do? Was it Tim's cards? Or was it the watercolor? Thank you, purple. Yes, half, half, two and a half, quarter, half, half. One and a quarter, half, half. Very good. <laughs> Hi, Linda Bell. <laughs> All right. So my thinking is, let me just fold it all first. I want this to go this way, this to go this way, and then this. So here's my thinking. I want it to do be 3D, and I want it to be kind of like a Polaroid. So... Let's see how this works. So, I think that will be good. Let's go with that and see how it works. So, let's ink that. Black ink. And then we'll have to put some some lines on there. And I'm gonna ink one each one of these. What I should do is crease this first. Get a nice crease on it. All right. All right, so let's move this out of the way for now. So I'm going to crease this. And then this one. And then this one. This way. All right. I'll just give it a light line on each one. All right, so we have that. Oops, backwards. So I have it like that and like that. We want it to spit out, I guess, through here. So let's see. If I put this like that, that down, I think it usually spits out from this line here, right? Let's see. Maybe we'll do that. We'll see. Let's do our circle. And of course, I have all my circle dies downstairs. So we're going to just have to make them. So I need one that big, one a little bit bigger. This one's bigger or smaller. This one is, no, maybe a little bit bigger than this. Um, I had them up here, and of course, I brought them downstairs. So, let's see what else I have. Maybe this. Oh, this will be good. All right, so we need black. Scrap the black. So we need a little piece of this. Use a piece of black or use a piece of gray. <laughs> I 
a shuttle cart. That's what I need for right now. That would be cute. All right, so I'm going to do the black with this. My pencil. And I'm going to go in here with the gray. And of course, you guys want to know what size these are, right? This is two inches, and then this is inch and a half. So let's cut that out. Where are the scissors? Of course, not going to be perfect either, so we'll see how it goes. Not too bad. All right, Jerry Ann was doing a camera um, album too, right? Was that done? Did you finish it or you still working on it? Have that, and then we need one more. Oh, we need another black to go inside here. So let's see. What's small? That's good. Her album was cute. She did a lot of photo um, pictures too and film strips. Somebody gave her all those film strips. I forget who it was. It was cute. Jerry, I'm just talking about you. Who gave you all the film strips for your album? I can't remember. Didn't somebody give them to you? Martha. Martha sent them to her. I knew it was somebody. I just couldn't remember who it was. Are you finished with your... I know you were doing a camera album, kind of like a camera album. Didn't you do slides and... Um, did you finish with it? Hi, Jonna. I was thinking about you today, Jonna. Did you get your soiree steampunk newsletter? Did you see the cute little tickets they're going to print out for us? With our own individual names. I can't wait to put that in my book. Hopefully, I'll send it this week and I can get it in there. Oh, they were extra? That was nice, you. Oh, I get to clean this. All right. So let's glue that, and then, so we want to put that there, we'll have that, and that. That looks like a good opening. Probably could use this one a little bit bigger. Make it like a little bit bigger. You just kept punching and punching. <laughs> that happens sometimes. <laughs> Are you going to get up to me Tuesday? Good. I have only three, four more people to get. So, um, oh my gosh, wait till you see them. You're just going to just flip when you see them. They're really, really coming out nice. All right, I want this one a little bit bigger. So, let me see. What do I have that's a little bit bigger, but not quite as big as this? This is better. 
One of these days, I will have everything up in this room that I need. <laughs> you posted the album. I saw it. it was nice with all the um, film strips. I think I saw it. Something got squished on my desk. What was it? <laughs> what got squished? This? What was it? <laughs> oh, this. <laughs> my, little, my little frog. <laughs> yep, he's flat. Must have got run over. That's not the one we want with this one. <laughs> my little froggy. I saw it at the dollar store and I was like, oh, I have to get it. It's really for like putting your cup of coffee on there. I'm like way off camera tonight. All right. So that's better. I think. Yeah. That and that. I like that better. And then what we'll do is we'll probably cut a slit here and have them coming out. Hi, Aunt Maggie. Roadkill, exactly, Marilyn. <laughs> it is like roadkill. All right, so we need some pop dots on here. Uh, let me use my bigger ones. I think I have the big ones. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put one on here, and I did ink this side, one on there. Yeah, there are some, sometimes a, a lot of rules, you should be able just to post it and have everybody enjoy it, but some people have their rules and that's that's okay. Oh, of course, I need my knife now to get it off. Oh, I have such a hard time getting this off. I like these black pot dots, but the that red plastic to get off is a pain. <laughs> Rolls are meant to be broken. <laughs> All right, so let's put this down. Share the wine. <laughs> uh, pin. Hi, Miss Devlin. Did you get my message? Oh my gosh, I love your things.
I sent you email. I wasn't sure if you got it or not. Debbie. Oops, there it goes. I got that. And we need like a little picture thing, you know, flash, whatever. A little bit smaller than that. Good. Barry should be here. Oh no, Aunt Maggie. No, I I didn't show them because they're supposed to be a surprise, Debbie. So I didn't show them. All right, put this down. Yeah, she might be in the ladies' room. She didn't get a chance to go to before. <laughs> All right. So let's see how we want to do this. So it's going to be like this and like this. And then I want to cut some strips before we tighten that down. So let me get some blue paper. Um, I don't know if I use this one. There's my little pad. Somebody needs you, Barry. I forget who it was. Please call you Deborah. Okay, Deborah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I want a green, I want some blue, yellow, green, blue, yellow, maybe this light green and the blue. Just need a little strip because I want to put this strip. You know how the Polaroid comes with the like colors. So let's see. Let's go with um, blue, dark blue, the light blue, green, yellow, maybe yellow. This is too light. Maybe the blue, green. And then maybe go back to blue and that. I think that's good. So we just need a little strip. So what I want to do is go um, two and a half inches. So two and a half inches. Let's see which one. I'll go up this side here. Two and a half inches. I love this paper pad. I just love the colors. I think they're nice and bright and cheery. So let's see. Two and a half. And I just need really just a little tiny strip. Really only need like hmm, a quarter inch. I think that'll do it. Blue. Green. Green. You're usually the crazy chick in the corner, purple. <laughs> Two and a half, two 
The red tip. They're like, I was in the, um, Michael's and I happened to have some, there was one bottle there. I have two, one other one left. So those are my last two with the old tip. I know I love that tip and it's just like, I don't know why they changed it for the worse. <laughs> I always look anytime I go somewhere as I always look to see if they have, um, if someone left an old bottle out. put the glue yeah I have it but I've been using that glue it hasn't really um got stuck on me so I'm using the glue first and then I'll refill mine blue green then we'll go with yellow and the blue what happened to the other one Blue, and what happened to my other strip? Where did it go? Come in and cut it. Is it stuck on here? It's still clogged. It does, Ella? I don't know. I didn't try it yet. Where is the strip? Oh, we're crying out loud. Another one. Oh, there it is, stuck on my board. I love this tip too, yeah. I wish they wouldn't have changed it. All right. So we're going to go this like this. Three, four, and five. So I'm going to put the middle one down first. I can tuck it underneath there. Yep. Oops. <coughs> I should just use the pen now. Yellow. Let's see. Oh, the red one still clogs. Yeah, it does. Oops. Yeah, this is the same glue that it came with, and I didn't have any problem with it, like, clogging yet, so... Or you keep a pin in yours? Mm hmm
And then the last one. There we go. So I'm just going to fold that gently. Fold this one. And that. And that. I have to see how I want my... Oh, that's that. I think I'm going to have it slide out of here, come out of there. I think that will be good. So we need a little something over there. Let's see if I might punch. A uh, piece of black. Hi, Jen. <laughs> All right. Put our little dot there. All right, so I'm going to make the slit here and have the Polaroid come out of there. So, which ones did we say we're using? These. So I want this to come out like that. So let's mark it here. And I need my mat. And we need a ruler. Just gonna make another little slit down further. bad. I almost think like it needs like a flash or something on this side, so we'll see. I think I'm going to save these for when we do the, we'll see. making a Polaroid so all right where's our page now oh my bird baby she's all better I've been giving her fish oil she looks really good she's been taking antibiotics um, she was kind of cranky the first two days so like ugh. but now she's like back to her normal self so that's good <laughs> 
thanks for asking. Yes, they're doing better. So, all right, so we have this. And then this is going to go like this. So I want to glue that down. And this is too high. I'm going to have to shorten this. I have to um, score this a little bit. It's too high. Hi, Tim Marie. Hi, Renee. <laughs> so let's score this down a little bit. It's just too high up. We won't be able to close our book, so we want to make sure. Yes, they're doing much better. <laughs> yes, I guess I would be cranky if my skin was on fire. That's true, Barry. It's so much better now. I mean, at night it's still a little bit like reddish, but it's not like anything like it was. And she's eating now, and they seem to like the fish oil, so that was a good tip. All right, so we have that and that. And then we're going to put this out here like this. So that's looking pretty good, right? I still think it needs something else here. I don't know what yet, though. We'll see. So we have that one coming out. I might even have to do it. Let me see. Maybe I'll do it like this. Then I might have to make it even smaller. So let's see. It will make a good difference. Oh, the Graphic 45 logo. We don't want to lose that. So we want to spit this one. We will spit that there. Where's the other one? I think I should have made this just a little bit smaller. I might only be able to get, let's see, maybe two pictures out of here. Maybe I have to turn it this way. Let's try this side. Got 45. I might have to cut that off there. And I think it'll just have to go on this side like this. I might have to cut these off. Cut that off like that. Oops, covering my face. Let's see. Maybe straight on. Can you see? I'm off camera again. It's like let me let me just see if I can scoop back a little. Um, there we go. It's like my desk seems like out of whack today or something. I don't know. I can't get it. All right, I'm gonna have to s s remove the roadkill. <laughs> Like, I wish I could be a neater um, scrapper, but I, I just can't. I just have to have, like, everything all over me. <laughs> everything on top of me. All right. There you go. All right. So I like that. I like that. We want that coming out of there. Maybe this in here. And then I'm going to cover my face. What am I going to do? Let's see. Maybe I need to come. Nope. one picture in the lens <laughs> it's too small Let's see back up I might have to have my camera just sticking out a little I really want them to spit out but how am I gonna do that let's see I'm gonna have to definitely cover my face <laughs> let's see uh. I can cut that off. I can cut this off. Maybe I move it over a little. Maybe just coming out of the center. How's that? And then I can... Let 
Yeah, me too. I'm messy. Put one up next to the camera, like up here. It's like this picture is not where I want it to be. Maybe I can cut that off. There we go. And then maybe cut more of this off. That. Put this one on top of here, maybe. No. I want it spitting out. And I ripped my page there, so see how's that I think that'll do it right there cover the bottom left hand corner the center of the picture like this I think like this is good do you think that'll work angle the camera put it on one minute. The left one in the top corner, you mean like this? Then I'll cover my face like that. <laughs> if I angle it this way, you mean? And then put it like this. And then put it like that. How's that? That looks good, doesn't it? So we'll just cut that part off. So it's like spitting out. Can move that up a little. Move this in there a little. I think that's good right there. So we'll put it down like that. So let me put the pit these pictures down first, and then I can adjust the um. Put this one down first. Hi, fairy. <laughs> that just on the corner I mean this one just like this yeah I don't want to cover the graph of 45 and nail it down okay I will I think that's good we're just like that I can even lift that one up higher like that I think that's what I'm gonna do so I am, let me see, like this, all right, there we go. Okay, so, oh, I wanted to put this underneath there. Darn it. So all this is coming out of here. All right. So I'm sure I don't cover anything. tape on here. Oh, it all came out. I'm going to cut some of the white off. When we cut here and here, when I turn it around, we'll cut it off. Ah, oh, go down. 
All right, it's down. Let's put some glue on this. <laughs> put the left photo on top. I keep getting, let me see if I can take it off now. All right, like this, right? And this is, goes in here. And then this on top, oh, got you, like that. Okay, then we have to put this down first before I put that down. I got it now, Patty. <laughs> All right, so let me just put a little glue here. So we'll glue that on top. Phew. <laughs> Yes, so it goes like this. I have it now. I got it. <laughs> Let me glue this little piece. It's ripped. Okay, so we'll put this down first. So I like the way it came out. I think it came out cute. So what we're going to do is put tape on the back here. Make sure I stop like about a quarter of so that um, I can, it's going to take about 15 minutes to share my, my book. So. Right, so I want it down like that. So. Going down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put popped ups here so that it will um, stay popped. Thank you, Patty. After we finally got it all together. <laughs> but the picture being split out is the last picture, so doesn't that go on top? True. Well, we'll check it out before we put it all down again. <laughs> You're confusing me now. <laughs> Okay, Jess. All right. So we want that. I need another one on top. All right. So goes down like that. Then I'm going to put tape on here. And I'll just put glue on it since it's already down. And then we're going to put this one in here. So I want it spitting out like that. So I'm going to put glue on the top of this. Thank you, Fairy. So we want it spitting out like that. Well, I might have to cut it a little. I do have to cut the back. Make sure I'm not cutting my camera. <laughs> so it can bend. There. Ah! I just put a piece of tape in the back. Cut a little too short now. See that? Oh well, I'll have to fix it.
and then I'm going to put tape on the back of this on this piece here I'm going to make sure that this bends now, right where that is. Good. And then we want to just stick this down. And then I'll put some pop dots in here. Let me get my... on here too. It's back. <laughs> Thanks. Just like that and two on the other side. <laughs> Holding your breath. Well, not bad for on the fly, huh? <laughs> and put two on this side. And then this picture will come down back in here. I'll put some pop dots on that. Who spilled the wine? <laughs> you got the big boot, Marilyn. Oh. I think I'm only going to need one. No, I'm going to need two. You would rather live on a fly. <laughs> Ugh. It makes me nervous. I like to be prepared. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put one of those on there like that. There we go. And so now this one, this one does, whoops, wrong picture. Where's the picture? Now let me, I have tape on here now, so let me just put this on here. So before we decide how it's going to go. <laughs> wine is down your neck. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> All right. So yes, yeah, so this would go. How about if we did it? See, this is too, too low. So what if we did it like that? So one's spilling out. If we did it on top like that, I mean, I could fit it in there better, but it's true. The last one does. It's true, Jim. The last one does come out. <laughs> So here we go again. <laughs> this one under like that. The way I said before. So like it's spitting out like this. I should have moved. I should have. Oh, well. So like that, right? Just like that. All right. So let's put tape on it now. <laughs> it's true Jen it's true all right so this is going to go under and I really want this piece to go I want to hide that part that's ripped. I know it doesn't bother. It bothers me. I have to wrap it. Ugh. All right, it's down. Down. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so we have to cut all this off. Oh, shoot. You girls didn't tell me we didn't wrap the back. Now we'll have to just be careful when we do it. All right, so let me cut it. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
Oh, it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> we were so worried about doing it, I forgot to do the back. My desk is a mess. <laughs> hey, it's down. <laughs> Do you see why I have to be prepared? Because I can't make decisions. <laughs> now you girls know why I need to have everything done ahead of time. I know, I didn't wrap the back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then we'll have to put some titles or something like that underneath it. <laughs> but that looks cute like it's spitting it out. I like it. We'll have to do some more. I'll have to think of some more. But of course I can't think. You guys have already like worn me out already. <laughs> so, all right. Um, oh, I did want to get my little. So let's see what we got now. We have the front page, right? And then we have the inside. And then we have this page, this one. Oh, and I have my little, remember I told you I have my little gems for um, for this little heart in here. So I'm going to put them in there. <laughs> thank you, thank you guys, thank you very much. <laughs> but now you know why I just like, oh, I get odd when I have to just do it on the fly. <laughs> so we have one there. And one there. Cute. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so there we go. Isn't it cute? I like the little hearts on there. Cute. And then I said we were going to decorate, but well, I can't think too much tonight. <laughs> we'll do it. We'll do it next week. So that'll go there. Then we have this page that will come in there like this with the Polaroids. I like that. It's very cute. I might put glossy accents or something like that. I'll have to think about it. But, um, and then we'll have to wrap this page <laughs> next week. And this is dry now. So there's our back cover. So now we can put down our girl. So let's do that. And then I'll clean up my desk, and then I will show you. So we have that on there. And remember, we put the foam tape on here so we could slide a mat underneath here. So let's do that. So, and did look at the poodle look cute. It's all, like, fluffy now. Can you see it? Yeah. Fluffy. <laughs> All right, so so we'll be able to slide something in here, so which is nice. Yes, it did exhaust me, Karchik. <laughs> ah, you guys made me laugh tonight. All right, so we had that and our back page, and then we'll do something else in the back and then we'll add a couple more pages so um, but I like the way the Polaroid came out for my first Polaroid not bad <laughs> I can use a drink <laughs> at least don't say anything I haven't had my coughing attack yet <laughs> so now look my book is chunky already and it's got like what three pages in it <laughs> I need some here why Marilyn <laughs> I always make my books chunky. I just can't help it. They're just always chunky. <laughs> so. <laughs> hmm. All right. So let me clean up and then we will get on with the, get on with our journey. So we'll clean this up. Put this away. This. this book is taking us a lot long what did we get like two pages done on the front back cover <laughs> <coughs> mm. 
What else do I need? You always end up with chunky ones? We'll have to warn you that the steampunk one is super chunky. And you don't have to add everything that I'm adding to it. But I'm using mine for the steampunk soiree. So I have a lot like other stuff that I would normally not put in there. I'm just getting a quarter. Feel free to stream all night. <laughs> no, I can't do that. <laughs> all right. So let's get rid of these. <clears throat> we'll do Caesar and Jim next week. And Tim. Get back in there. Clean this up. We don't need our scissors. This. Get rid of all these papers. Well, finally, I'll have my desk all cleaned off before, before the end of the show. <laughs> usually, I have such a, a mess that I usually leave for the next morning. Hi, Heather. Oh, you're just in time to see the book. Just getting ready. Put that in there. Put this away. This this way. All right. So there's two things, a couple things I want to tell you guys before I um. Where's my book? I should have mentioned too on my list of supplies too that you should um have black pot dots. So you know this is the book we're using. It's this one, the Prima Doll book. And we're going to, um, I black gessoed, I put gesso on all the pages. So if you want to prepare your pages for the class, you know, just put the black gesso on each page. I think I'll, during the show, though, we're only going to probably get the front cover. I'm hoping we get the front cover done and the train. At least those two things done. And then we'll have to stream again to finish the different pages. But, um... This is one of the dies, the La La Land dies, and this die fits perfectly inside of Tim's clock die. So in case you guys um, want to get some, and you don't have to make it as steampunk as I did. You could um, make it more Victorian where you could add doilies where I added the gears. Or you could add flowers where I added the gears. But I definitely want you guys to get black pop dots, and I want to show you why. When you look at my book, and I'll show you, you can see that you see that you don't see the white pop dot. It makes a big difference. So, would you rather see this through your book where you don't see anything, or you're going to see this, and that's going to show through your whole book? So, if you white use white pop dots, that's going to pop out everywhere. You could take a black magic marker, but you're better off just getting black pop dots for your book. It looks a lot nicer. So I'm definitely put that on my list again. Um, so, and I'm warning you, it's super, super chunky, as you can see. <laughs> really chunky. So this is, oh, let me move this. Maybe I'll get you a little bit closer, too. Um, let me just move you up a little. 
That's good. Let's get this out of the way. I have to move all this. never seen them in stores. I know my local scrapbook store used to have it. Barry, I think, has them. If they don't have the black, they have brown, and you're better off with the brown um, than the white. The white would just look terrible. You you can see, like, in this book, you don't see any white at all. And, you know, I have a lot of stuff that's popped up. You just It just doesn't make it look. Oh, you're back there. Walk, Johnny. Good. So, um, definitely you need black pop dots. Um, so, this is the front cover. And I have little tiny watch gears. Oh, I guess I should put it on autofocus. You have black. So scrap a dab do they also have black. I allowed links, Barry, if you want to put it up. Um, so they do have the black pop dots. Well, let me put it on autofocus. So here you can see her. And I have tiny little watch po uh, parts on her hat. And I have a little metal bow tie. And then you can see the gears. These are Tim Holtz's uh, little mini gears. Come on. There you go. So you can see that. So that's that. And then here is this pocket watch. Comes out so you could add a date or something like that, whatever you want, or a picture. It just slides right back in there like that. And even her shoes, I have um, little watch gears on her shoes. So. All right. I can't let you see the first page because that's kind of my opening. So let me see what I can show you. Hold on. All right. So. This is the. This is one of Tim Holtz's little page protectors, and so this slides in and out. I actually used the packaging um, from the Prima. Um, this had the stamp and the um, little button flares, the flare buttons. Oh, my little heritage thing's coming apart. I have to fix this a little. Um, oh, thank you, guys. And so then, let me, um, I have to put something on here so I can rest it on there. So can you see? Yeah, okay, it's hard to see. So then this pulls out, and this opens up. This is um, the train, and I can't let you see the inside. Oop, you can't see that either. <laughs> so it actually holds four pictures. It slides in and out. And so and this is, um, look at Catherine's um, outfit. Isn't it cute? This is when we went to, thank you, Heather. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. So this is when we went to the um, Stingpunk um uh, I guess it was like a fair in Pennsylvania back in, I want to say it was back in September or October. Um, so, yeah, this clock is um, cherry, a Cherry Lynn. Um, and then I love all these little junkyard finds with the um, lights. Oh, my gosh, I love those. So, but this picture also slides out. So, you could put another picture in here and then you could put a picture here in the back. So, that slides in there like that. And then this goes back in here. Oops, can't see that. <laughs> and then, and then the little clock um, holds the whole thing together. So that's the first pages. And then this page. So here is the La La Land, and this is um, Spellbinders gears in here. And then I made some tags. And then I love this paper, and I didn't really want to cover it up. So there's acetate behind here so that you could still see the roses and the little steampunk engine back here. So, um, and then this is one of the wood pieces from Time Traveler. This is one of the little gems. Um, and then I made the tag, and I just put some gears at the top here. And then this flips open so you could add a photo here. And this is one of the doilies. Um, isn't Bow Bunny? What's Bow Bunny? The clock die is a Cherry Lynn die. And so then um, I added another picture here and then another gear um, in there. 
Yeah, this die, the one that I used in the front, is definitely a Cherry Lynn. Yep. And then I didn't get a chance to decorate this tag yet. So then these two go in here. So they just slide in. And then this um, gear holds the, um, the tags from coming out. And then this is, I finally used my envelope board to make envelopes for the first time. <laughs> so this pulls out, let me see if I move it over, like this. So you can put photo, you can't see. Um, so, you, so it has, uh, pulls out like this. So you have a photo here, photo here, then it folds back up and then you can pull it out like this. So it's actually four envelopes um, to you know connected to each other, and then each one has two of these um, where you could put two two pictures in each one. So this is one that somebody got just like their uh, steampunk outfit. They were pretty funny. He was, this guy had different uh, puppets and stuff. <laughs> so and then I love this couple. They were really nice, decorated. So, and then you would just put another picture on top of here. I just didn't glue it because I'm going to use these for a steam for steampunk. So each one would get, um, you wouldn't even have to decorate this point here. You would just have to, um, yeah, it gets covered though when you put your photo on here. So each one gets a photo. So it gets covered. So, oh, I have to show you this guy here. Let me see which one this one is. So those go in there. Oh, I should have let this dry. Some of them, I went around with the um, pictures with the um, distressed paint, and so they're a little stuck to each other. So here's another couple. I loved her hat. It was really pretty. And then this, there's another couple. They were selling, they were vendors, and they were selling different things. Um, so that goes in there. And I'll give you the size. It fits perfect, these four by six. It's just that I have it. Um, I'll have to put it in later. I want to show you this guy here. This guy was like, oh my gosh, his thing. You see this guy with the arms? He had like a big mechanical thing on his arm. So you could see it here. So it was pretty cool. And then this guy had the big top hat with the um, bird like out of it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so then that goes in there. And these would go in here. And then there's me. Tea time. I'll stick these in here. I think I have two pictures in here already. So then that just folds back like that. And then this, um, yeah, it opens up. And I put the little doily in there. I put some gears. Can you see? Gears in here. So. And then that folds back like this. Then this is, um, I wanted to make it like a, a bustier. So um, it has a little, I'm going to use bigger ones, I think, though, next time for this. Um, but I want to show you, um, let me lift this up. I want to show you my button. I took the flare button and I used um, snaps and some gears and some beads and I um, covered it with that. So there's a little watch gear in there. There's a little watch arm, snaps. So you could see it there. And then this dangles down like that. And then I've used the, um, this is um, Quick Cuts. Um, I forget the name of this die. But it's in the garage sale if you guys want it. I use it a lot. It's one of my favorite um, punches. Um, and so then these pictures come out. Oops. Pull everything out with it. Um, so there we are again. Miss Kathy. Miss Catherine. I got her, her cut off though. We wanted to get the train in the back as it was going through. And we missed it. <laughs> and then I covered the back with... Um, with that and then here we are again three of us with the train that was a better picture 
And that's that. Oh, and this one. This woman, you have to see this woman. Her whole outfit was like, oh, it was beautiful. But look at her face. And there's me with the goggles. <laughs> These are um, Prima's little um, goggles, the junkyard finds. So she was really cool. I loved her face. And her whole outfit was really cute. So... Jen, I, I allowed links if you want to um, put any links up. So that goes inside there. And then this, um, this hole is like three, but you probably get another two because it's expandable in here. So it's a pretty big pocket. And then this, I figured while I was at the Steampunk Soiree, I would usually get business cards. I usually get everybody's business cards. So, um... I have that, and then these are the little pockets, Tim's little pockets, and then I also made it so that you could attach two of them together, so this way I could hold 12 business cards here, and then I could extend it more if I wanted to, so, and then this just slides right back in here, oops, like that. And then this was um, a little pocket in here, and then I just used the um, 4x6 in here. And I did this whole book using the A4 pad. <laughs> I have room for yours. <laughs> oh, you can't post the link because you're on an iPad. Oh, okay. Um, so then I just add a little flower. This is one of the keys, the wooden keys. Um, and this is some from the sticker sheet and the flowers. So just made a pocket here. So this book holds over 70 photos. And then on this page here, I used Tim's um, cabinet cards. And I just wrapped it with the paper. And so you can actually get a photo. You could put a photo back in here. You could put a photo here. And then another photo here. So, hi, Yellow Rose. Um, so that goes inside there. And then I also used the La La Land gears. I punched them out and then I colored it with some. Um, so this actually opens up like this. And then this one opens up also. And then also it opens again in the middle. So you could slide a photo in here. And this one opens up again in the middle and you could slide a, a photo in here. So I know it's hard to see. So that goes like that. And then um, this one, this is probably my favorite page. <laughs> um, these guys, there was an old train that was over in the um, back part of the, um, the like a farm, whatever it is. And these guys jumped up on this old train. Let's see if I pull it out. So this actually pulls out. So you see how they jumped on the train, this old train? Let's see if I can get to focus. There we go. This guy would have been great if he wore like a hat, really needed a hat. <laughs> so, and so you can put a picture here and then um, you can fit another picture here. This spins around. And then again, this is just acetate behind here. And so this holds a, you could also put a photo here. So this holds um, a photo in here like this. And then this is a train. And um, you lift this up. This first one is the magnet. So you could put a small journaling spot in here and then another photo in here. And then this opens up again here. So you could add another picture here. I kind of like the brads because it makes it look, um, you know, like a train would have. So I left that on. That's your favorite part of the album? Mine too. So, and then I was lucky that I had a picture of the railroad tracks. So I took a picture of the railroad track so it fits perfect behind this train. Yeah, so you for the PDF file, you will get the train and you will get the vest, the, um, what do you call it, the corset. So that's what you can get um, for the day of the, and let me get take you to my blog so that you can see where you could um, get the PDF file free that night, that day, up until that day. So, hold on. Thank you, Heather. 
So um, you can go there, and then I have a link on there um, where you can email me and say that you would like to have the PDF file for the class, and it will be available free for that um, 24 hours till that Sunday night. And then, um, uh, no, it's, it's not going to fit in the drawer. If you're going to put all this stuff in there, no, it's not going to fit. <laughs> you're going to have to cut some things out if you want it to fit in the drawer. It's not finished yet. I have one more page to show you. Um, so then, um, so that's the train, and then this is, um, the acetate, uh, picture, and then this is the last page, and for the last page, what I did was, I'll show you, this is like a little jewelry, um, that you get in the jewelry department, it has like a little hook here, let's see if you can see it, see that little hook there, so, no, um, you can get, um, you can email me now that you'd like to have the PDF file, and I'm going to release it my time, 9 o'clock, which is Eastern Standard Time, so it's like 6 o'clock West, you know, Pacific Time. Um, so you'll have all day, you know, before the class to cut it out, but don't put it together. Um, and then, um, then from Saturday all the way until Sunday night, 12 o'clock my time, then it will no longer be free. And all I ask is that, you know, just send the people to my blog. It would be nice if they signed up to my Ustream channel, but it will be free up until Sunday night. So then this is, um, I figure I'd like to get everybody uh, who's at the soiree to sign uh, my little book. So um, I took the brads. This used to hold this hold all the brads. You know how you usually get the brads, and so what I did was I made it a like a matchbook. So what I did was I just put tape on the edge here, and then you could see I, this said Prima brads, and I just covered it with some um, of the paper. And this is another one of their wood things, and I added a pen so this way people can go in here and sign my little book. And then it holds. Um, I think eight pages. So I have one, two, three, four. Yeah, eight pages. So this will be my little, like, brag book or where they could sign, you know. Thank you, Jen. So, um, and then in the back, so then this gets tucked underneath here like this. So it's just like a matchbook. I, I would never throw any of the Prima. I love their packaging. So... And then I put the little frame on here. I might put a picture. I might just leave it the way it is. And then I love it because um, the packaging says where memories are created. And then I flipped over the back. And here's where I keep my business cards that I could give out. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Ella. And I put a little vintage uh, trim. And then, uh, I don't know, I'll put something, maybe the date of the soiree. Or I might put my ticket. We're supposed to all get a ticket um, for, like, we were on a train ride. So, um, but this also would make a cute brag book. You know how you girls always want to put something in your pocketbook to hold your pictures? So, um, since it's nice hard, you know, cardboard or, you know, cardstock, whatever you want to call it, you could dress these up in the front, you know, and then just like I did, all I did was I just punched two holes here in, in the bottom and then just cut four pages, you know, four by 12 and then stuck it in there. And you could actually stick photos in here, you know, if you wanted so you'd be able to get two, four, six, eight, sixteen pictures on here. So, yeah, I love the Prima packaging. So, and and if you get the um, the Ocean Line, the Seashore Line, their packaging is great too. Because a couple of them have like slits. I think it's like a slits. I forget if it's the clips that go in there. So it's, it almost makes you have like you know a place to put stuff. So. And then I didn't do anything with the last page. I haven't decided. I thought I was going to add more pages to this book, but it's way too chunky as it is. So I will just probably add a picture or my ticket stub or something like that in the back. But, um, yeah. So that will be uh, that will be this Saturday. So like I said, we will just um, probably just get the front cover done and the train, hopefully. And then we'll, uh, that day, we'll tell you what other day that we're going to use. And we will have um, different days to finish the inside of the books. I'm sure mine's probably going to be at least two more classes after this. So, thank you, Jen. So, I hope you guys are excited as I am. I think it's going to be fun. And I think Ash's um, project and Jenny's project and as well as Jen's is going to be great. 
But like I said, if you plan on doing this book to fit into Ash's book, you're definitely going to have to cut some of the things out. I cut it out, but instead of making like four envelopes, like I have, maybe you'll only put two envelopes. You know, here you'd only put two envelopes. That would cut it down. You wouldn't put these in here if you don't need a business card. You wouldn't have to make this as thick. You could just add one picture in here. So you can, you know, just scour it down so that it'll fit. Yeah, here, I'll, uh, if you email me here and say, wait a minute, let me get it. Email me there and say that you would like, oh, poor Renee. <laughs> Say you would like to have the PDF file, and I will uh, release the PDF file Saturday morning. Yes, and always check out Scrapper Debbie's Facebook page. <coughs> my supply list is already on my blog. Just the only thing I didn't put on there was the black pop dots. So be sure you get black pop dots. So if you just email me there and say you would like to have the PDF file, you'll go on the list and I will release it on Saturday, Saturday morning. Great. Okay, Jen, thanks. So do you guys have any other questions? So it'll be the same channel. You don't have to you know, go from one channel to another. It's all on scrap -a channel. Um, are you welcome? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um yeah but i think it'll be a fun day um so is barry still here or did she leave all right so i will see you guys tomorrow at Catherine's, and again at kathy's on friday night and then um, hopefully I will see you all at, um, on Saturday at scrap a dab -a um Oh, thank you, Linda. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed tonight. It was fun. You guys made me laugh a lot. <laughs> I start at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time, which would be 1.30 Pacific Time. And she's on tomorrow night, too. Yes, yeah, she's in between Catherine. So, um, yeah, make sure to see, um, Ash. And I think she's, I think she's on. Yeah, she's on tomorrow in between, in between Catherine. So. Oh, that's good, Fairy. Hey, bye, Elaine. Bye, Karchik. Bye, Marilyn. <laughs> oh, it's 6 p.m.? But is that 6 p.m. what time? Eastern, Pacific? I don't know. <laughs> and just know that she's in between Catherine, so. All right. Bye. See you guys in the travel for time. Scrap a dab a do. Thanks to Barry. Thanks for all you guys for coming. And I'll see you on Saturday.